How do you paint something to have a sort of truth to it, but it's a thing that doesn't exist? How do you reconcile those two things in a painting? All of these footprints are going right past this deer, heading straight to the attraction of choice, which is the roller coaster. There's a kind of a double entendre. It's almost like this white version of chiaroscuro, and there's really little to see in the background other than this apparition of this porcelain deer in front of you. That is a way for me to create this moment that could probably never exist, and yet, hopefully, in the painting, it's undeniable. When I was a kid growing up Catholic, there was a belief that there is this unseen world, and yet it is real. I think of my work in terms of poetry. I have often described my work as allegorical realism, metaphorical realism. I see the world through the lens of kind of wonder. The idea that the world is a place full of marvel, if nothing else, is real for me. Teacups, to me those represent something very old, fragile, maybe something that's dying or lost. An electrical cord, plugged or unplugged, that means something. Tight ropes interest me. We tend to associate it with high wire acts. There's a potential for danger. There is this world out there, it's been my muse. That is often under threat. That's pretty fertile ground for me as an artist. So I try to walk the line between mere description and this sort of more blunt approach of saying, this is happening to that beautiful landscape, pay attention. That duality between this beautiful object and then your knowledge become grist. They become something more than just the usual pretty picture. The Wanderer's Garden is this series of moments, and inherent in that title is a contradiction. A wanderer is somebody, or it's a state of mind that is unmoored, and then the garden is the exact opposite. It's a specific place. I much prefer the painting and I to have a conversation, and it tells me what it needs, to the point where sometimes the painting just requires a complete overhaul. My mind goes pretty quickly when I'm working. I want to change things, and the acrylic paint allows me to do that. Many of the works have seen numerous changes, so the process is often also a wandering process. It's been a great gift to know that my work finds its way into people's homes, a lot of public and private collections of art. If a viewer can walk away and remember the painting, they think about it again, to me that is a supreme compliment. It's sort of a calling. There's nothing else I want to do.